Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Taco Imposters. Ten minutes! Oh, that's because that's the limit of the, 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 the video recording. Okay, I was like, I have a SD card in there now, a 128 gig SD card in there. So I hope I can do this faster, so it's like 10, 20, 30 or so, instead of like, the way where it was, was like, it was two minutes, three minutes, one minute, four minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, you know? It was bad, but yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, I what, I what have I been up to? Learning more, uh, coding and, uh, what's it called? Coding and, um, animation to learn. Basically, I'm just doing the same animation I did last time. If you watched it on the, uh, Instagram, I'm just trying to learn it better so I can, you know, um, ink it and all that stuff. So, it works. Um, personally, haven't been done much more than that. Um, it kind of did what it did. I kind of, I'm trying to get some more stuff onto, like, I'm waiting for Patreons. I want some more money. I'm trying to look for like a computer. I'm looking for a computer. I'm looking for a uh... what's it called? Uh, cameras to get. I mean, hey, the camera I'm using is pretty good, but like this one and this one's not bad either. I personally don't love it in relation to like having an actual camera, like a, a SD card DSLR. But yeah, or a mirrorless. Yeah. But it works for what it is. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing with my life at the moment. Not bad, not bad. Um, I was watching a video from Stop Skeletons from Stop Skeletons from Fighting on YouTube, and they were doing basically they were doing um Sonic One ports, and I never. I don't think I've ever played Sonic 1 on the on the Sega Genesis. I played it on GBA, probably, and some collection somewhere. I don't remember which collection, on the Wii or on the GameCube, something like that. The Gems collection, maybe? Anyway. um, I play, Okay, I've already said that 2 is my first game I ever played, that I can remember playing. So for me, Sonic 2 is the first game I can remember playing. But what I remember from that is I really liked it, and I was like... Now it's there before, there and after. What's more? Gimme, 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 gimme. Also, I remember going to Walmart and saying, where's the make? Where's the Sega Genesis? Like, I saw on the thing said Genesis on it, right? Somewhere. And so, so for a lot of long time, I was like, well, where's the Genesis? I want to play Genesis. Give me my Genesis. And I thought every video game system just kind of existed all at once, and it never, it didn't. It really didn't. But yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so. Yeah. So. Ports of games. I played a lot of ports. I played ports with, like, um, I'm staring at the uh, plug and plays. I'm staring at an Atari or two Atari and a uh, and two um, Namco. They're decent. I I like plug and plays. I'm telling you, I like plug and plays. I like them in comparison to like buying those games outright because they're expensive. You be you, usually they're expensive. So usually plug and plays are bought because grandma doesn't want to buy you a three a uh, fifty dollar game. They want to buy you a fifty dollar thing or twenty five dollar thing, right? With multiple games in it. So. Grandma slash mother, parents slash like your aunts and uncles and cousins and brother brother doesn't care or younger brother doesn't care anyway. Here in Quebec, I keep forgetting the date. Today is June twelfth, two thousand and twenty. This is Talk Imposters for June twelfth, two thousand twenty. Here in Quebec, it's crazy windy. Yesterday was crazy windy. Today's crazy windy. Tomorrow and Sunday are supposed to be crazy windy. In northern Quebec, there are possibilities of tornadoes. Now, for us, in we don't get we don't get tornadoes, hurricanes, tropical storms, or earthquakes. But if you go to the other side of Canada, the uh, the west Canada, you go to like British Columbia and Alberta, they get like or at least British Columbia, BC, they get a lot of like earthquakes. Or they get enough. They don't get a season of earthquakes like a lot of other places in like the U.S. But they get decent amounts. Of I want to try something. Decent amounts of uh, them. So. Going to work. Let me check. Don't get this stuck. I'm sorry. But yeah. So so here it's crazy. There here we've gotten crazy winds before, but never hurricanes like stuff. We had hurricanes or tornadoes in the past, like very, like, but they're small and they were nothings. But yeah. I want to see if I do this right. Oh, it looks terrible. Actually, it doesn't look awful, but yeah, it looks bad. Oh! Yuck. Don't like it. Why it's doing that? I don't know. But it works, right? Anyway, I like 
These things, these things are cool. They're like actual lenses for your camera. This is a wide angle. This is a macro. You put them together and you get a wide angle. And then this is a fisheye. I hate fisheye. Because look at what the fisheye is supposed to look like. I hate it. Watch. I Look at the, the bowing on this side. Like, what? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It gives you a lot more, though. But I hate it. What would it look like if I just put the mic macro on? Like crap, right? Yep. Oh, anyway, so yeah. That's just... I want to use these to make, um, vlogs. At least this one. The, uh, wide angle. It's supposed to be a 0.67 times wide angle. Alright. This is a macro, and this is a... Did it say what the fisheye is supposed to be? Or just fisheye. Fisheye. 180 degree fisheye. Yeah, so, I mean, personally, I like macro lenses and, and wide angle. Fisheye, forget it. It is just enough though. This one is the, the fish eye, chuck it in the trash. As far as I'm concerned. I'm never gonna use a fish eye lens ever. Unless it's cheap. And it's a good lens that I can get. Then I might get one. So I wanna make lots of vlogs. But then my problem with making lots of vlogs is I don't really even know what to do with all the vlogs, because I don't like making vlogs if I'm not gonna go somewhere where people are gonna be like, Yeah, this is interesting. Like it's a really nice interesting place that I wanna see. Like I don't know where to go. I was thinking of going, because they've opened up what's called the Botanical Gardens, Montreal Botanical Gardens, and so for, we can go to it, but I'm not sure what we can do at it yet, because you can only have so many people, and you can only have 10, and you can only have one, one family, and all that j j jazz. Look, 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 at, look at it without the macro part of it. Why did that look bad? I don't know. What's better with it than the macro? Anyway. I, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm thinking of going there, but I don't know when. Probably like this summer or sometime, because they've opened it up. They said it's open, and they've extended my... Because my mom, last year, bought a one-year pass. And all the months were not allowed to use it, which were from, I think, March to May of this year. They, they, they reimbursed us and said you can have all of those months. So it's three months. I'm allowed three, like, three extra months for free. Like, just, they just gave it to me. As far as I know. I might be wrong there, but as far as I know, that's what my mother, my mom told me. So, hey, if I'm getting free ways of going there, hell yeah, I'm going. Heck yeah. I'm gonna go. Duh. Now, I'm not gonna probably go a lot. I have a vlog that I tried to vlog of the place a year ago, like in September, but I didn't actually get a lot out of it. So, I, I don't even know if I want to upload it i will one day but it's on a a mini db camera like a mini db tape so it's i have to transfer that but i mean it's, it works for what it is I'm gonna use these lenses for it at least these two the macro and the micro the macro there and the uh, wide and the wide angle not this garbage fisheye crap sorry i don't want it but now, hey, don't get me wrong. If you like fisheye, watch fisheye videos. Make fisheye videos. But if you're going to make solely fisheye videos, I will not watch you. I'm sorry. Andy Schrock likes fisheye a lot. If you watch a lot of Andy Schrock videos, at one point, he's all uses fisheye. Fisheye, fisheye, fisheye. And you don't notice it, obviously, eventually. <gasps> Holy crap. I hate it. But anyway. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm still going to do. Yeah. Now, probably this summer. But I don't know when. Because La Ronde, okay, is our Six Flags here. La Ronde's our Six Flags in, in Quebec. It was built for the 1967, um, sorry, 69, no, 67, Expo 67. And it's right in front of the Olympic Stadium, which was built for the 1969, no, 67 Olympics? No, 1960, 68 Olympics, 67 Olympics, 76 Olympics, sorry, 76 Olympics. So, but yeah, so, um, Expo 67, they talk about. Oh yeah, the round. Round was built for Expo sixty seven, and basically the round is our uh, six flag is built for Expo sixty seven. And what oh, happened? This is cracked. Though. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's cracked right there. Huh? Oh, you can't. Anyway, right there, it's cracked. Right there, it's cracked. Huh? Interesting. I know the other one too broke. Well, because this one broke completely like this, right here. I'm gonna tell you, it broke right here. Look. Okay, I gotta turn off soon, so I'll turn it off right now and come back. So this one broke this way. It separated this way, and I had to glue it back together, but I don't think I glued it back together properly, and now it looks really awful. Ooh, that looks pretty interesting. 
Oh, imagine life you saw life like this. I'm, I'd go out of my mind. Anyway. But yeah. Um so it's built for sixty seven and it's our theme park. It's our it's our six flags theme park. And basically they're making a season pass, which is I think like a hundred dollars or hundred and fifty, somewhere around there. The same price as a single day pass, which is sixty dollars. That's insane. But again, we have to know that Larone is opening again. We don't know that. I don't know if Larone is going to open again. They're just saying you want to pass, you're going to get it for sixty bucks. So at least that's what I know. So because they're like, we're going to lose so many people if we just don't open and do something. So they, 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 they're like, well, so well, we'll try something. So that's why the Penguin Gardens allowed to open um, and do whatever. So yeah. Hey, in retrospect, if you look back at this, we'll be like, wow. Because somebody, somebody made the observation, I'm not sad for people in this day and age. Hell no. For a lot of people in this day and age. Maybe some. I know that people like, um, people like, like the graduates, forget it. I'm not sad for you people. You lived in basically doing no school and you still graduated. You had a year. You had a semester of basically no school and you still graduated. Like... Lucky. Gosh, lots of cars outside. Listen. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah. God, they're loud. But yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so for me at least, I don't feel sad for these people. I Okay, I was done in high school about three years ago. About three years ago. So for me, I'm not in high school, but I'm not, I'm not feeling empathy or sorry for these, these kids no hell no no not at all but yeah personally there's a lot of this like they want to do something for these people because they're like well if we don't start something somewhere somewhere we're not gonna because if we look back at it we'll say wow we went to the Rhone for the same price as one time a season we went to Bernanical Gardens for nothing we went to this place for nothing this place was, was cut free this free that Free whatever. Pick something and say it's free. You know? It's a lot of discounts and free. And, I mean, it's, it's it's not great for the company necessarily because the company's still going to go to business if you don't pay certain amounts. Of money. I don't know. They probably have like a limit, like a minimum. But yeah. You can go to lots of museums for free now. You can go to lots of... um, Like the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts was free to visit for about a month at one point in March. Interesting stuff. Interesting times we live in, I'm telling you. We, we live in these strange times. We do. We definitely live in strange times. Bizarre, awkward, strange, weird times. Not necessarily bad times. Not necessarily. I mean, yes, there's a virus. But not necessarily bad times in terms of, like... Oh. Oh, it's not great because it's not aligned properly. But yeah. Oh, whatever. So yeah, that's just what I think of that whole thing. I don't think it's that bad. Honestly, I don't. I don't think a lot of it's that bad. Free, you're getting stuff at home, you never leave your house. I mean, of course, I want to leave my house, but I really don't care. I was that kid who, if you told me you're never leaving your house ever again, I would have been like, eh, maybe. Or if you told me you're not leaving your house very often, I'll be like, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Like, I'm the kid who's two, who... I'm 20. One. I'm 21. I didn't take driving lessons till last September. I could have had a driver's license four years ago. I was that kid. I didn't want it. I didn't want to go places. I don't know. It's weird. You know what I thought of? I was also watching yesterday. I, I found all these videos that were talking about people's first cell phones. And they're old videos. They're like, what, 2018, I think? Somewhere around there, 18, 19, 17? I don't know. Anyway, I was, I was looking at them, and I went, what was my first cell phone? I thought about it. And I went, it was a iPhone 3, which I still have sitting right there. Sitting right there on my shelf, iPhone 3. It doesn't work very well at all. It was my mom's hand-me-down. But I, like, cherished that thing forever. I cherished it so much more than I cherished my iPhone SE. I abused that iPhone SE to the max. I put it in showers. I brought it into the shower. I brought it into, uh, got it wet. I dropped it in water multiple times. I 
Yet it never, never, never needed the rice treatment. Never. Did not need the rice treatment. Never. Anyway. What was I saying? Um, I didn't need, um, I, I dropped it multiple times. I had cases on it that sucked. They were like those plastic silicone cases that just sucked. They were, um, it was a Game Boy case. Anyway. Then I was like, okay, that's not super interesting. A thing to say. Like, you know, if you said, like, that, that, that camera, uh, that camera, that, that, that phone in my first phone. What's interesting, okay, I just drink the water quickly. Um, the interesting thing would have been all the phones I've used before that, which are my parents' phones. They were, okay, Nokia's, and, like, I think they were all Nokia's, except for my dad's, which was a, which was a, I think, it was a Virgin Mobile exclusive, um, on contract, what was it that he had, though? I don't know what he had, but it was a Virgin Mobile exclusive, so I know that, or, or, on contract, Virgin Mobile phone, so I know it was that, I just don't remember what it was, hmm, was it? I can picture what it looked like. I just don't know what it was. Anyway, that phone was crap. I remember that phone was crap compared to the other phones where my mom had a Nokia 3310 and the, the next one up from the 3310 and a random Fido phone. I can tell you it was there. I don't know where it went now, but uh, it's around here somewhere. Anyway, um, what else did we have? We had like all these Nokia like Fido exclusives. Yeah. Fido exclusives, you know, like, which are cool because they had all these integrated games. They had all these like pre-installed games that were so cool. Things like these random sports games or, or you know, you know which one I like? You know which one I think is the, one of the best games ever? Bounce. I think Bounce is the best game ever. It's one of the best phone, in pre-installed phone games ever. Because I remember playing so much of it and just being like, I remember being really loud too. Like, That's how loud it was. So you wanted to play it and you'd just be like in the, because I remember, I played it when I went to Boston in 2005, 6, somewhere around there. Heads up, if you ever go to Boston, go to the Boston Children's Museum. It's the coolest place in the world. It's so cool. You like Arthur? You can be in a freaking episode of Arthur. It's crazy. Or oh, the theme song to Arthur. Oh, it's so cool. I love Arthur. I, I was in the theme song to Arthur. At the time, I loved Arthur. Anyway, I remember going to Boston. Because on that vacation, I went to Boston and Cape Cod. I remember in Boston, going... In the elevator and my mom and mom handing me my, her phone or letting me use her phone and i pulled out the phone i pulled i opened the game and then she was just like oh, that's too loud no and i remember how you couldn't turn down the volume it was just either on or no game like you played the game or you had no game and so my mom I remember like being like stop and she did it like multiple times and then i was like no and then she clicked i think she just took it from me and just turned it off i was like because yeah. that phone had 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 bounce and some um, pinball game. And the pinball game I hated, I remember that. I was like, this is no bounce. Anyway, this is not bounce. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. So there's that one. Then there was a weird snake clone on a different game, a different phone, which was a, a screen, like a color, PFT LCD, I don't know, some LED? No, I don't know. Anyway, phone, but it's a color screen, and it was very good. I liked it a lot. And then there was a soccer game on the same phone. And then on a different phone, I remember this, like, what was it, like a was it a DDR ripoff or like a, a Guitar Hero ripoff or, or like some, I don't remember what it was. But then there was a uh, Street Fighter ripoff and it was so blatantly just Street Fighter. It was so much just, it was just Street Fighter, come on. Like I knew that for a fact, it was just Street Fighter. Anyway, then after that, I got, we got like iPhones and Androids and gone were the days of these weird preloaded things. I remember playing other things on other people's phones. Like I... This is that copy right back because of the timer and it only goes 10 minutes. They would like have other phones with other random things. I remember a game where you like shot a guy out of like a cannon question mark. He like, he did that thing where like, you know, those like, you just shoot something out of some thing and it goes and you just, you get like different like, um, items to shoot like, and to with go, like to make them go farther, either left or right or up or whatever. It was one of those games. I remember that game cause it had like a bird would poop on you, I think, to go faster or hit a bird. I don't know. Anyway. There's that. And then the other thing I remember from, this is the early 2000s, so this is a very, very, very different time, okay? Ringtones. You didn't just get ringtones. You didn't just buy ringtones. There were ringtones you bought 
off of random numbers. It was like one, whatever, blah, 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 one, blah, 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 two, blah, 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 three, blah, 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 four, blah, blah, five, blah, blah, six, and then whatever, how many they had, off of commercials. That was the biggest thing. My cousin bought one once. He bought one. And I was the only person I ever knew who ever bought a ringtone. It was like 99 cents or whatever, but it was still just the, 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 like, the event of us buying a ringtone. I was like, what? How? And one of the ringtones I remember was uh, the Gummy Bear theme song. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy mommy, shummy, lucky gummy bear. Ooh, oh, gummy, 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 gummy bear. <laughs> yeah, that was that one. And then there was like, you are my sweetest pup. And it was a rabbit. I love, I always want to hug. With a fluffy bunny. Because I really love you. The world is watching over you. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. I don't think there was a lot of lyrics, honestly. I think there was just a few other lyrics, maybe like one or two more lyrics. But yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so, personally, I never bought one. I always loved listening to them. Like, the, 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 the like, ten seconds of, like, of, like, music you got from the commercial. Like, The night's gonna be a good night. That was a good one. And then there was, like, lots of songs. It also really dated itself, like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, So, like, those are commercials I want to find one day. Just to be like, call 1 800 Bishika Doof 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 to 1, 2, 3, you know, and so on. And, so on. and you would buy one for like 99 cents. And then your, like, your phone, I think, was either using the internet that your phone had, or it would, like, send you something to, like, download these ringtones. I don't know. I never did it, so I don't, I couldn't tell you, like. Oh, yeah. Like, oh yeah, the, the the reason it was what it was was because, like, was, you know, whatever, or however it worked. I don't know how it worked. I'm sorry, I don't know how it worked. But, I do remember one person ever buying it. Like, that was it. And I was like, I actually did it. Like, 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 you, like, you stole something, or you, like, or you murdered, like, some guy, or you, like, you know whatever and you like you stole like some expensive thing and like you're like oh, like you you committed the crime or something or you did the thing and you're like oh, did it oh my god you actually did it oh my god anyway to me i personally never did but yeah and then i was remembering all these like because i was watching um billiam on youtube and he was talking about well one of the videos was um Pets, uh, virtual pets, and I remember having. Um, I had at one point, I had what was it? <sighs> Neopets, like one of those, but I had a weird Neopet. My brother had a Neopet that was bizarre. Um, what else? Um, I had okay, um, what did I have? I had, I had what's it called? Honestly, I had, um. All I had, um, okay, it was a box. I think my cousin had one too, I'm not sure. Box with a stick figure in it? Stick guy in it? Yeah, I did. I remember that. Personally, I, I remember loving it. I mean, like, it was the weirdest thing, because it was, like, some little, like, stick figure. But the stick figure could, like, you could interact with it, play with it. It played games. It was cool, honestly. Mine was green. And I don't remember if it was transparent green or solid green. Like, uh, opaque green. But I remember it being green. And I remember it loving that thing. I brought it everywhere. It was, like, my best friend at one point. I was also the kid who, who brought any stuffed animal everywhere. Like, actually everywhere. Like, this Pikachu I brought everywhere. I remember that. Uh, this Pikachu, plus I brought, uh, my Build-A-Bears, because I like Build-A-Bears. I thought Build-A-Bears were quality, quality things. Unlike something like, um, um, Webkins, where Webkins were bizarre with their weird, hairy, whatever. I liked some of them, but, like, I, I liked the online version of Webkins way better than I did, um, 
build a bear. Build a bear is online is crap. But it was like thirty dollars for a build a bear, as opposed to I think like fifteen or twelve, twelve, fifteen dollars, ten to fifteen dollars for a webkin. So really, I bought like so many more webkins than I did build a bear. I bought four build a bear and I bought or three build a bear, three build a bear, three build a bear, and then. My brother never did, but my brother also bought webkins. We must have spent hundreds of dollars on webkins. It was insane. William also did a retrospective on, like a look back on that, which he didn't play, webkins, which he didn't play online. But yeah. So personally, I loved webkins as a kid because the online was great. Like I played with my brother. We played online together. It was great. It was so much fun. And then they did their, well, the thing with them is he didn't make the, the like he didn't, he didn't mention the whole fact of after two years, your webkins, your webkins would be deactivated. Webkins account would be deactivated. And then eventually they were like, okay, hey, we're not going to deactivate your account. Cause that's just stupid. We're going to sh like, like limit what you can do. And basically what they did with that is they got rid of that and, and, and turned it into a, like a tier system, free paywall and then like a free I think like a membership and then a paywall mm. so they they made you pay for more which I think was stupid because like there was not only a membership which you paid for but there was a paywall which you had to pay more to get in it was weird I mean I remember Club Penguin having that but Club Penguin basically saying you can do everything with Club Penguin while not having an account no I'm trying to think anyway it's just that if you want to buy more, if you want to buy more things, buy actual stuff, upgrade your igloo, buy uh, clothes, buy more puffles, because you're allowed two puffles. One for... And then you're allowed... Okay, this is what you could buy if you were on Club Penguin. You could buy every color, every color, and two puffles, a red and a blue. I remember that, and just being like, oh, okay. That's cool. Like, I was fine with it. I was like... I don't need 600 things. Also, my parents were never going to buy me a membership because they were like, this is stupid. So if you're allowed to just do it for free, what's the, the point? But the thing I, okay, the thing I remember with Club Penguin, which, which drove me absolutely bonkers, was the fact that um, Club Penguin had, every time I forgot my password. So instead of resetting my password, I just made a new account. I must have, I must have been, I'm not even joking, like, a portion of the reason why they're so full called penguin servers like i must have made literally 50 to 100 accounts because i just did not know my account my own information and now i'm looking back and trying to get into my accounts and i'm like what is it, what instagram what um account email did i use what email did i use and I, I look up all of my parents emails and none of them are valid and i'm like oh you suck anyway, i did that was the only mmo that i played that wasn't Helping, uh, that wasn't a, um, webkins. That wasn't a thing that toy to life. Because the thing was with, with web, with club hang, with, with, with build a bear is I did play build a bear, but I played it for so short that I don't even count it as a thing I played because, well, no, I actually played Death of Lies, not the only one. I played, uh, Wizard 101. And she also did a retrospective on that game, Billiam. That game was an actual game because you know why? I was not a social person. So for me, social was not a thing. For me, it was not a thing. I'll turn it off and come back. So for me, if I could play an actual game, it's like, hell yeah. Hell heck yeah, man. It's great. It's, it works really well. Like, I could play a game and not have to worry about socializing with people. I was like, hell yeah. Oh yeah, man. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so for me... Wizard 101 was really good. I also played a weird MMO on, like, what was it, gamesgames.com? It was very realistic at the, what was it, at the time. At the time, it was very realistic. So, for me, I was very, like, oh, this is cool. Like, I could have a car. I could meet people. I could talk to people. It was a very open-world MMO, so it wasn't just, like, a locked thing. Because, like, Wizard 101 was an MMO that more Wizard, Wizards of Warcraft. Wizards of Warcraft? No. Wow. World of Warcraft. More World of Warcraft than... Than, like, actual uh, MMO. Like, like, 
um, like meet and greet kind of MMOs. So it's very much like play a thing with someone. Say to someone, I want to, you know, do quests with you. And they went and did a quest or did a thing, did a level. <laughs> Unlike MMOs where it was like Club Penguin or Webkins where like you just kind of met people. Which I didn't meet a single person while I was doing it as a kid. But I did let somebody, when I when I op opened um, World Club Penguin Reloaded. Because Club Penguin Reloaded was a website basically made because Club Penguin shut down. They decided, you know what? We're going to keep this live. And we did. Nice. Anyway. What were they saying? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so those are my MMO days. I did a lot of MMOs. I played loads of those two MMOs. I played a lot of random games, too. You know, on the side of your computer, where it comes and says, um, Star Trek Online, um, Lord of the Rings Online, uh, Pokemon Online, um, which was a shit ripoff. It was a shaddy ripoff. It was so bad. It was bad. Don't play it. Don't play those weird, weird Pokemon, like, ripoffs online. But anyway. Well, I played, that's where I got Wizard 101, and I played, like, World of Tanks, and I played, like, um, Airships or something. So, really, I did do a couple other ones, too, but I really didn't last very long, because by that time, I was playing real video games. This is 2008, 2009. The internet stopped being, like, I stopped playing things. Cause I can show you right now, this is, I have my, uh, Dell. I don't even, don't even ask me what computer it is, but it's, like, a the Dell Tower that every kid had. Every kid had either the Dell Tower, okay? Or some gateway piece of crap in the early 2000s. And for me, I had the Dell one. And the Dell one really made... Um, it was not a great computer. But it ran Windows XP decently. So the internet for me was sitting, opening, turning it on. Or, or turning on the computer and playing like... Windows... Turning, you know, uh, playing games on it. Or like playing like online MMOs like... Club Penguin, um, Club Penguin, um, Webkins, and all that, or Wii 101, or just pulling out the same CD I played, like, five years prior, for the 500th time, beating it in an hour, and then, like, leaving, and then going to the next game, because, again, like TV, if you didn't turn it off and pull me physically away from the computer, I would play until I was dead. Until the day ended. I was exactly like TV. Now, I was glad that I did not grow up in the era where I was self-aware of what the internet was. Because I wasn't. I just looked up, pick up something I liked. Game, ninja games, pirate games, Batman games, Back to the Future games, uh, 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 Star Wars games, and um, um, Ninja Turtle games. You know, And so I went like... And that's what I would do. I didn't go anywhere further. I didn't get the pee. I didn't get porn. I didn't get get random stuff as a kid. Like, I didn't know that stuff existed. I didn't even know YouTube existed until, like, 2010. So for so long, I was just like, huh? No, because, okay, before about 2010, there was something called Google Video. I remember watching very, 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 very few, now, very few, videos on Google Video. Now, Google had bought YouTube by, by then. It's just they still had Google Video running. I don't know why. I could not tell you why. But, yeah. So, I have no idea why. But, hey. That's what it was. It did what it did. It was, it was you know. So that's what I remember watching, like, two, maybe five videos ever. But that's what I remember using. YouTube, uh, Google Video, not YouTube Video. Like, not YouTube. YouTube wasn't a thing. For me, at least. I didn't know it was a thing. But yeah, that's what I did. So, oh, it was, it was, it was, it was decent. Uh, see, so, so I'm trying to, the, trying to remember. I'm debating whether... Was that computer the first video game I played? Or was Sonic 2? Sonic 2, I remember at like... Th well, because I was allergic to my mom's breast milk. So I would get cavities from that. So I went, remember going to the dentist at like... Literally three? Two or three and playing Sonic the Hedgehog. So I don't remember if that was like the first experience or I played games before that. I'm pretty sure the first experience was something on a computer. I don't remember what it was, but I can probably tell you some educational game that my mom tried to pick at me to play. And probably a pretty good like, I don't know.
So like, but I don't remember it. So the thing only the, the oldest one I can remember. was um was uh what's it called was Sonic the Hedgehog and then I remember playing random games at my dentist at my other like my orthodontist which was um it was Ocarina of Time it was like V8 or V8 Vega eight something anyway, um, there was like other games to um, Mario Kart, Pokemon Snap, and then I also remember pl like playing random games from my brother's best friend. Because I remember one day, that for some reason, that kid had so many, so many, Miss Patrick, so many. So many games, we just blew my tiny little mind. And I asked him one day, I was like, "Can I borrow some games from you?" And he was like, "Sure." I've told the story before. I pulled up, roll up to his house. Okay, I roll up to his house in my car. Right, I'm sitting in the back seat. I put down the window. He comes out. I put on the window with all these these games, handfuls and handfuls and handfuls, and hand like it just wouldn't end. He gave me I think three handfuls of games. I pulled down the window, I'm like, okay. And he's like, he's just like, like, like this, like this, like this. Like, shirt set up like this, like, on my lap. And I was like, okay, whoa. And he's like, I'm not done. And then he, I did, he did two more times. He came back out two more times. It was crazy how many games. I think I borrowed, I think, like, 20 games on N64. Or, like, 15 games on N64. I borrowed, like, five games on PlayStation 2. Oh god, that hurts so much. Like, I have earwax in my ear, and I run it out because it's like itchy and it hurts, and I was like gonna scratch my ear like this. Ah, yuck! Too much perspiration. But anyway, we were doing that, and he just like, eh, here you go. And I'm like, I thought I remember thinking to myself, is that all the games he's ever he owns? And of course it wasn't. But I remember he got me like, uh, Open of Time, Mario sixty four, um, something called Orcs sixty four. There's a Battle Toads on. N64, wasn't there? Possibly. Maybe. I don't remember. Um, this game right here, which I, oh, I eventually bought again because it's such a good game. Of course, not in here. This Transformers game is so good. Transformers the game. Well, Transformers the movie the game. Because they did have, like, Transformers animated games. So. Or Transformers the, yeah. You want animated games? Yeah. Like stuff like that, like, and I think, oh, Django Fett on, uh, yeah, so, um, I'm going to turn off the, uh, video and start over again. Anyway, what was I just saying? Yeah, so, for me, at least, personally, I was like, whoa, like, mind blown, like, pfft. I think, like, so that's where I got my love for video games. That kid, Patrick, that kid, Patrick, he showed me what a video game was, first of all, and he showed me what... He taught me everything about video games, and he taught me you can be in a video game. It's really easy. Like, oh, and he also showed me how like good you can be in video games. And for for me, I was, I, I just idolized that guy as a kid. I don't know. For some reason, I was like, whoa. Because I had a DS, and they were the only kid who had a DS that I could talk, play with very like often. Because I wasn't friends with any of the other kids. Okay, here's the story. My summer pool, which is called Versailles Pool, which is in Emma Bay was a pool and everybody had a ds there not a psp which is why i got a ds not a psp and i remember everybody had one and it was great and it was fantastic and it was awesome because i could play stuff with people but none of those people were really my friends no but patrick had a, like some kind of friendship with me because he was connected to my brother so we kind of just were that kid i don't know my generation a lot of people were friends with their brother's friends and their siblings' friends. They weren't necessarily best friends or great friends, but they were friends. So my brother was friends with some of my friends, and I was friends with some of his friends. And so, for 
us. We were just like, okay, we shared, kind of shared friends. Which really was weird when you think about it, but like, it worked, I guess. Oh, Diddy Kong Racing, too, I played. I had a lot of games on, on N64. But anyway, so he was a kid I could play stuff with, so I played like... Because he also came over like every other day for like years. But anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so... Yeah, so, and it was, yeah, so, we, we did a lot of, like, video game stuff, and so I played, like, Pokemon with him, Mario, Zelda, it was great. That guy was the best. He was also really good at video games. He could just, like, blow through a video game in no time. He would just be like, oh, you stuck? Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, done. And I'd be like, how did you, you do that? What? Wow. Anyway, that was that guy. I didn't have a friend like that. No, my best friend hated video games. <laughs> Both of my best friends were not into video games. Which was weird because they liked TV and movies, just video games, medium. They just were like, nah. Strange, yeah? Anyway. Like, my best friend hated Pokemon. My other best friend, yeah, he was indifferent to Pokemon. My best friend hated Pokemon. My other friend, who is not my best friend, loved Pokemon with a passion. But he was always a generation behind me. So, look, look. I had Diamond and Pearl. He didn't have anything. Then I got uh, Gold and Silver, and he got Diamond and Pearl. But he got Platinum. I got Diamond... Uh, I got Black and White. He got Gold and Silver. I got Black and White. No, my brother got Black and White, too. And then he caught up with us. So, he got, I think, um, Gold and... Uh, no, he got uh, X and Y the same time I got X and Y, because we didn't really care for that generation of Pokemon. I don't know. By black and white, we just were like, this is stupid. I I debate whether black and white 2 is worse than, than Diamond and Pearl. I'm sorry, I do, because it's so bad. I will never play black and white again and say, oh yeah, black and white is... F no, it's bull. It's crap. Anyway. I personally, you know, don't care. Anyway. So yeah, I think that'll be it for now, guys. Um, if you want to get in, get in contact with me, if you want to get in touch with me, um, email is in the description below. Tacoimposters at gmail.com. I got a Discord and a Patreon, so that's 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 good. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Tell me uh, stuff to talk about either in the uh, email, the Discord, or the description down below. Um. Yeah, so I think that'll be it for now. Oh, give me ideas. I just thought of this. Give me ideas for my 360 camera because I want to make good 360 video, but I don't want like weird things with it. I want good 360 video. Now, for me personally, I think 360 video is, is a faff niche. Um, it's not even niche. It's like gimmick that just doesn't work. But I know that there are actual useful things with it. Like, if you make, like, a movie in 360... Like, if you put 360 in VR, that's a whole different thing. And I think that 360 is useful for, um... Useful for taking a picture of something. Because, like, the summer camp that I go to does not have this. But the winter camp I go to once... I used to go to once... A, for one weekend every year, which was, um... Like, closer than that other camp. Anyway, we used to go there with my youth group, and it has 360 video uh, pictures of the whole camp. Like, every building, every place, every whatever. You can you can use, like, um, like Google Maps, go out, go out, like, and 360. But it's great. It, it's fantastic. It, it's great. That's what my summer camp that I worked at for six years needs to get. It needs to get 360 video of its entire camp. Because if you do that, then it's a very interactive thing, and you can see the whole camp. Personally, it's not that hard either. You just you set a tripod, you take a picture, you go two feet, five feet, you do it again, and you do it at the whole camp, just every aspect of the camp, so that so that you can be like, okay, hey. But the problem there is the difference the way it's set up is this camp is a winterized camp, so it's in a there are dorms set up like this in like a log cabin, like the longhouses. So if you know what a longhouse looks like, like a uh, native longhouse. Basically, this is what the boys look like, and the girls connected to the to the dining hall. 
So they just walk up a, some stairs connected to the dining hall next to the um, kitchen. Kitchen. And they can just go home. They're, they're just up there. They're in their rooms. But we have to go walk outside of the place, outside of the dining hall, walk 100 feet, and then we're in a in an enclosed place. But ours had 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 the uh, the gym. But what do they call it? Can't they call it the wreck? No. Wreck? No, they don't. They call it the They call it the rec, rec building. No, they call it the recreate. No, whatever they call it. They call it the. That'll come to me in a half hour. That's what my grand, my great grandma used to say. That'll come to me in a half hour. I never knew her, but that's what my mom says. But anyway, um, yeah, I think it's called the rec hall. Yeah, it's called the rec hall. Yeah, it's called the rec, rec, rec hall. Yeah, it's called the rec hall. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, because that's what they need. So that's what I want to know. Give me. That's what I. The whole reason I came here. I, I was just talking about this because they need to get that. But for um, and so they have one for every room, every building, every place, every so. But there are places also half the size in terms of like there's not every cabin does not have one specific room. It's not one cabin. It's, it's, it's rooms. Anyway. So give me ideas for, um, 360 video in, in the comments, uh, email, discord, Patreon, even, I don't know, but yeah, please tell me good things. I want to use them. I want to, I don't want to say that this was a faff, stupid thing. Like, cause in here, and this is with foam. It's great. It's just some foam. I glued to the inside of a, uh, Nescafe gold espresso container. See, it's right here. See? Or, sorry, see? It's a Gear 360. It's a 2017 Gear 360. Not the not the round one I thought was stupid. I bought this for $77 on eBay. Anyway, so give me ideas there because I want to use it. I've used it for time lapses. If you go on my Instagram, which is Vulture54, you'll see um, time lapse. The last, like, three time lapse were made with it. I like it a lot. But I don't know if that's what it's useful for. Like, is that what it's, that's what it's useful for? No, it's useful for a lot more than that. Just give me ideas. But I think that'll be it for now, guys. So, adios, mi amigos.